Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode here on the Juice Footage Garage. Today we continue the build and progression of my 1970 Chevelle. If you guys haven't been following along, we have a couple of videos on this series already. One episode on the dismantling, uh, second video on the repairing of the frame, um, removing rust and painting it with CP with uh, POR15, and also um, the installation of the CPP gearbox. Uh, today we continue with the installation of our new susp suspension components. We're going to go ahead and install OPGI lower and upper control arms. There are these guys right here. And we're also going to replace our old springs with BMR uh, one inch lowering springs. So that's going to be the setup that I'm going to be running with for now. Um, like I mentioned on the first episode, the OPGI A-arms are the ones that were a little bit more affordable. Um, my brother installed them on his El Camino. He had great results with them. Um, his installation went pretty smooth. I actually already installed the other side. So um, everything fit pretty good. So yeah, guys, but um, they look pretty nice. As you, if you guys can see here, um, everything looks pretty nice. All the welds look good. So, looks pretty good. Alright guys, that's the lower one. And this is the upper. And also looks pretty good. So. Okay, one um, trick um, that my neighbor taught me the other day was... Because uh, these things are not uh, marked. They don't say like left or right. But he told me they're, they're like... a like a fish, like the fins, they have to go back, like a like a shark's fin or something. And uh, you see the, the fin goes back. So that's how you know that. At least it's like a, I guess, a 50-50, right? I don't know, but I guess they're supposed to be kind of pointing back. Um, so obviously if you put that one on the other side, it's gonna point up. So the ball joints are not gonna match. Uh, but the way he told me to do it, which is like, you know the fins of a fish everything seems to bolt up right on the other side so hopefully we'll do the same thing here as you guys can see here we're gonna point them back like fins of a, a shark um because i couldn't find left or right on it so yeah that's where we're at guys um before we get any further with this build i'm gonna go ahead and clean up the old bolts because of course they don't provide any hardware um but I don't think any of these guys do because um, my buddy actually installed a set of, I think it was BMRs or I don't know what brand it was, but he didn't have hardware. Hotchkiss, I think it was. Um, he, he didn't have hardware either. So I could be confused on the brand, so don't, don't quote me on that. But uh, I, I know a lot of these don't come with the hardware, so you have to kind of reuse your old one. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to clean them up with the wire wheel. So I'm just going to clean up the bolts and we should be okay. So to not get mixed up, I just put them back where I got them. So I know that these are the bolts for the lower A arms or whatever. But I'll show you guys how the, the bolts are all nasty. They're still in good shape, but they're just old and muggy. So one thing that I learned uh, from doing the other side was that it's a lot easier to grease these fittings here um, while the ARs are off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I'm simply just going to wait for the grease to come out like that and they're ready to roll. We could do these once the car's on, I mean once the A-arm's on, but um, for these, I noticed it was a lot harder um, because the way they sit up in there, it's kind of hard to get my grease gun in there, but um, 
And honestly, my brother told me that I need to put a little bit of grease here so they don't squeak. So we'll take advantage of that. We'll just put a little bit of grease here. I don't think they're gonna squeak, but that's what he said. So make sure you put some grease on the on the bushing before you put it on because it's gonna make noise. So a little grease never hurt nothing. Alright. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the other side was a little difficult to get in there. Um, hopefully this side's a little bit easier. If not, I got a rubber mallet at hand. So, also guys, I am gonna put a little bit of anti-seize on the bolts. Um, just cause uh, if moisture or water gets in here, um, I don't want this. I don't want the bolts to get eaten up. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this stuff on there. So. I was reading on the forums too that a lot of people they uh they put a thread locker on these. So I don't know if I should. I guess they're notorious for getting loose. Anti seize gets everywhere, guys. But nothing is a big enough challenge for a microfiber. Alright, let's do this. Hopefully, this thing goes in easy. arm so this bad boy is over here and if you guys remember so there was shims on this thing and um, I was talking to my brother about it and he said that on his El Camino when he had it when he had it aligned they actually took out most of them because these uh these OPGI a arms they're a lot thicker from here versus the old ones I'll show you guys the old ones where are they over here they're super skinny See how tiny they are um, compared to the the OPGI ones. So uh, he's like, dude, he's like, if I was you, I wouldn't even put them on there and just slap them on. And once you go to the lineman shop, whatever they need, they'll just they'll just put them in, right? Um, so to make it easier, I guess for now, I'm just gonna slap them on like that without putting the shims on there. And then once I take it to the lineman shop, they can. Uh, they can do their thing, you know, work their magic. And we have a pretty good spot that just does like classic cars and alignments. So I think they should be able to get this thing driving nice and straight. But worst case scenario, I did write down on a piece of paper how many I took off from each side if I have to go back and put them back where they went. But for now, I'm just gonna put them in like that, right? Um, I might as well grease these up too. I mean, these are, these are not hard to grease, but I might as well should do it, I guess, since they're out. Right. Okay, and then my brother swears that this little grease on the bushing is gonna make it be super quiet. So why not? 
can never steer away from a good tip, right? That's just a little bit, nothing too crazy, right? I mean, last thing we want is noise. Uh, suspension noise is so annoying. And I know you guys seen cars where they're like, ee, 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 ee. so annoying. So if we could prevent it, why not? So. Okay. All right, guys. One thing I do want to check. I want to make sure these things are nice and tight. So let me go grab a wrench just to be safe. Okay guys, and as you guys saw right here, look at grease was coming out. So it was a good call to um it was a good call to check it and make sure that these uh bolts were tight. And uh, I think we should be okay. Alright guys, so I just finished uh, cleaning these bolts. These are for the top. And I'm going to do the same thing for these. I'm going to go ahead and put some anti-seize on there. Um, just because, uh, you know, I don't want them to get uh, all eaten up with time. So... Alright guys, so here's a better view of the top bolts. There it goes. So basically I'm just gonna hit, I'm gonna grab a wrench on the back and then I'm just gonna hit them with the impact from this side. Um, just snug them really because uh, they're gonna probably take them off when they do the alignment again, so. Yep. Okay, so this bad boy is nice and tight. And like I said, guys, double check these bolts here. Um, in my experience here, uh, they were loose, so I had to give them a good little snug. All right, guys, so it's time to put on our brand new BMR lowering springs. These are only one inch. Uh, they're part number BMR SPOR uh, 30R lowering spring kit for one inch drop on 67 and 72 a body here is our bmr lowering spring and basically this thing goes from my understanding with the flat side towards the top and then we just basically align the bottom to that little notch see if you guys can see there there it goes and then it should slide right in um there is a tab up here that you have to you know kind of center it with See if I can find it here. Uh, kind of hard to see. But basically there's a little tab up under there. Helps you hook it on. And then uh, what I like to do is I like to use a jack as my helper. Um, and then uh, I'll quickly install the hub. But what I'm gonna do here first is take all this stuff off here. The cutter pin. Take off the cutter pin. Make this a lot easier for us when we're on the, on the run. Like that, when our spring's in there, we could just run over here and put our hub. So, see here. Let's get you guys a good spot. That seems about right, I think. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, guys. So, like I said, flat side to the top. And then we basically uh, match to the groove down there. And it is kind of a pain in the butt. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Alright, there we go. 
Jones. All right, guys. So when we put the spring on, we want to make sure that it's hooked onto the tab on top. It's like a little tab. Make sure the spring hooks onto that, and then you align the little isolator rubber to the bottom. That's what you call it, right, Jesse? A little isolator, isolator rubber or whatever. Yeah. Um, so it doesn't. Uh, you can kind of see. It has it. a little slot. Yeah, it has a little slot, which I think. Yeah, it's on there perfectly. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now we jack it up. Let me find a good spot for you. And look who showed up. Missing in action. He was at BJ's. What's up, Jesse? Out of nowhere. Where's the El Camino at? Put away. Put away. And it really helps out to have two people for this job here. Um, well, that's good, I think. Because the spindle is pretty heavy. Bad boy goes what like this with the caliper. This bad boy's heavy. So put put that one. Just put the nut on the bottom and then just pull the arm on the top. Yeah. Let me put a bolt because it makes me nervous. very few things I fear in this world. One of them is my wife. The second is a spring. <laughs> okay guys, so I do apologize for the poor lighting. My headlamp died on me. So uh, I'm working with this one. But as you guys can see, when you tie up that uh, those nuts, there's a little hole in the middle and that's for your cutter pin. Uh, once you get it real nice and tight, then you slide your cutter pins in there. So, let me do that here. I'm gonna go through the back side here. Give me more space. Hey Jesse, what do you prefer when you bend these? Do you go all the way around or do you just like, just bend it up? I just bend it around the bolt and just leave one straight, cut it. Do you leave one straight? Well, to hold the nut. I just kind of go like, like. But you can put them however you want, as long as they just don't come out. I don't think they'll come out. Well, then you just bend it. So, it ain't going nowhere. That's the top one. That's the bottom one. Yeah, people get pretty particular with like the little things. But you know what they say, you gotta do all the little things great. So. When you finish well, they the, give you a gift card. they did? Yeah. No, no, they didn't. No, it's to wine. It's so I can order wine. Oh. Okay, so this bolt, the lower um, ball yeah. joints tight. The top ball joint is tight. Hey, did you check yours? For the, your ball joints? Mine were loose. Did you check yours? For what? From the ear. The top four bolts. Yeah. Yeah. Mine were loose. They're always. I mean, they're just. So, all right, so now we uh, continue with installing our calipers and then I'm going to check on my headlamp so we can get better clarity. Well, once you drop the car on the ground, you'll see if it needs it or not. They yeah. on mine, they took them completely out. It did, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So just to kind of recap, I went ahead and uh, I secured the bolts on the top here. I installed the cutter pins. Hopefully you guys can see there. And um, there's the one in the back. These are tight also. Uh, it's kind of hard for you guys to see. There it is. So these bad boys are tight. These bad boys are tight. Cutter pins are installed. They're greased. Uh, the ball joints are tight. And they got cutter pins. Upper and lower. So you guys can see there. Let me twist it for you guys. And there it is. Now I didn't, um, you see how this, this spindle is a little rough? I didn't uh, paint it 
Um, and the reason I didn't paint it is because I'm actually going to remove it. I want to go with that new uh, CPP one with the built-in hubs. I mean, with the the spindle with the with the big brake kit and all that good stuff. So I don't want to spend too much time on it because I know it's going to come off. Um, and yeah, so uh, so I didn't take the time to paint it, but um, but yeah, guys. <clears throat> and then uh, our lower A arms are tight. The ones down here, um, our spring is hooked onto the tab on top, uh, sitting on the isolator, rubber isolator, nicely where it goes. This bolt's tight, um, caliper's back on, nice and tight. I didn't have any brake cleaner to wipe down the caliper, uh, so I kind of tried to clean it with some, with some master flow sensor cleaner, but yeah. I'm not too worried about it because I still have time. I'm not going to put the wheels on right now um, because I, I'm thinking about painting the calipers. They're getting a little rusty. If you guys can see here, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but they're getting a little rusty on me. So I might go buy some caliper paint and paint them. So we have time to go buy some brake cleaner and wipe down the, the rotors real nice and clean. But uh, these things look sharp, guys. Check it out. Um, we need to do one more thing here, and that's install our shocks. The final step. And this thing's pretty easy. You have metal, rubber. You take two out. So then uh, your rubber is going to sit on the car. That's going to be your metal. And then uh, you're going to slide one rubber back up. So, yep. That didn't make any sense, did it? see here guys hopefully you guys can see okay there it is okay all right so we install our shock slide it in the hole here okay to make it easy for us we uh, install the rubber on top the metal washer and the nut to help us out i'll show you guys just like that see how we have um rubber metal nut all right we'll tie it right now so let's do the bottom All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, that concludes today's episode. We installed the upper and lower A-arms uh, with a set of BMR lowering springs, one inch. And I think it came out pretty good. It looks really, really sharp. Um, installation went fairly smooth. I'll show you guys here the end result. Looks pretty sharp, guys. Oh man, my light died again. Try to do this quick. And of course, let me grab that light. Well, check it out guys oh I left a big old blob of grease I have to wipe it down but check it out guys it looks pretty good I love it it looks nice um, yeah choose this side here's this side So overall came out pretty good I think um, I double checked all the bolts make sure everything was pretty tight uh, but once we get the car on the ground again uh, we'll, we'll check it again and make sure everything nice and uh, tight and um, yep well that concludes another episode here guys on the G's footage garage um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna paint the calipers they're rusting on me they look a little rusty for you guys here I don't know if you guys can see it. It's kind of rusty. So well, I'll probably stop at um, AutoZone tomorrow or O'Reilly's and pick up a, some caliper paint. And then uh, we'll probably move on to, I think, the steering. And then uh, lastly, that huge BMR sway bar that I got. And then off to the alignment shop. 
Uh, but with that being said, guys, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, hit up uh, www.gsfooters.myshopify for all your G's footage merch uh, while supplies last because I'm closing down the store, guys. So it's probably going to be like the last month that we have merch. So run over there and grab some. All right, guys, take it easy.